If you own 51% shares of any company, you are the biggest shareholder. Hello and Namaste Paycheck Pros. I am Manish Aujan and this is Paycheck to Profit, India's first YouTube channel dedicated to your financial freedom. Here I make videos on every 4th, 14th and 24th of every month. I talk to you about topics like your personal finance, management of money, how do you manage your paycheck in such a way that it gets you closer to your financial freedom. So if you have any questions regarding your money management or finances, please feel free to connect with me on my social media which is at Mr. Emojical or leave a comment below. In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about a concept which is very prevalent, something that you've heard of all the time but you may not necessarily know what exactly it is. I'm talking to you about shares or equity markets. So what exactly are shares? Let me try to explain this to you in the most simple manner. Imagine a company which is worth 100 rupees. So every percent of that company is worth rupee 1. Okay. So now imagine this company being divided into 100 small parts. And as an investor, what you can do is you can buy that one part of the company at 1 rupee. When you buy one part, you buy one share and with that one share you become a shareholder of the company. So in our example, imagine if you buy one share of that company, you become a shareholder of that company and you become 1% shareholder. Similarly, if you keep buying 2, 3, 4 shares, you become 2, 3, 4% shareholder of the company. If you own 51% shares of any company, you are the biggest shareholder. This gets complicated when there are multiple shareholders involved and in real terms, there are millions and millions of shares floating in the market for every company. Let's not look at such a big picture at the moment. At the moment, we are just trying to understand what exactly are shares and how do they work. So when you're investing in shares, you are buying shares to become a shareholder of the company. And now you would be wondering how exactly do shareholders make money? There are primarily two ways of making money in the market. One is by investing your money into the shares and holding them for the long term. When I say long term, it's at least one year or more. If you're holding it for less than a year, you are a medium term shareholder. The second way of making money in the share market is by trading shares. Because share market is really volatile and the value of the shares keep fluctuating, there are multiple traders who buy share at rupees X and sell it at rupees Y. The difference between X and Y is their profit. That's how traders make money. And as I said, investors make money by buying a share at X, holding it over a long term and selling it at Y, making the difference their profit. So this, my friends, is in most simple terms, what exactly are shares and how do people make money in share markets? I'm obviously going to make more videos on this topic where I'll be explaining the whole concept of trading, investing, what is a share market, how does a share market work, what is BSE, NSE, uh, Nifty, Sensex. So if you want to know about all of these subjects, please make sure that you've subscribed to the channel and you've hit the bell icon. That will give you notifications every time I post a new video on the channel. Having said that, if you've liked this video, please hit the like button and share it on your social media network so that more and more people can become a part of this community. So that's about it from me in today's video, guys. Now I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep smiling, take care of your loved ones and stay happy. Kaching!